Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It feels like it's been so long since I said that. It really has. It really has. Because I haven't been recording when I do ride. And then when I do ride, it's just a chill ride. So, yeah. So, today we got three bikes out here. We got a ZX-10 from North Carolina, South Carolina area. I can't think of his name, but I will put it up on the screen. Uh, as you can see, it's tuned by my boy Ben, Slot Performance. It has the wheel. That front wheel is the wheels that I want for my R1. But I'm not going to buy any carbon, especially no carbon wheels. But he has the front wheel I want. And the rest of the bike, I love this color scheme. He has an Acura full exhaust. This thing is, this thing is clean. It's definitely slick. But yeah, this bike came from, uh, like I said, North Carolina, South Carolina. Ben is doing some, uh, he's going to do some tuning on it. So while we're doing pulls and stuff, he's going to be adjusting some things and, uh, you know, making his corrections. And then we have Raven, who is finally back better. <clears throat> so I haven't been riding her or making videos because I added a mod to this bike that I needed for a long time that I think I told you guys a long time ago that this bike needed needed a quick shifter and we finally have a quick shifter on here we went with the Woolwich quick shifter and I want to give a big shout out to Rocket Taxi and Rowdy um, they both sent me parts to this quick shifter and, um, and I just kind of put it together from there and then I want to give another big shout out to my boy Dale and B from Kayla Maid um, they both helped me install this and put it together and get it working and B took out his he took out I think two days out of his time to come down and uh, work on the activation for me with Woolage and stuff so huge shout out to those guys so she's I finally get to see how she feels with the Woolage because we just activated the quick shifter so I get to test it out and see how it does and then we have Ben's S1000 you guys remember this bike uh, he came out one day with me, Mungus, and Pharaoh, and he had the wings and stuff on his bike. But as you can see, he no longer has wings on this thing. And uh, let me tell you, deleting those wings made a big difference, big difference, huge difference. Like it is, it's ridiculous how much of a difference those wings make when you take them off, but it still looks so angry. But um, me and Ben ran uh, the weekend of the Dr. Gap meet. It was like Friday night when everybody came in town. Me and him did a, uh, we did one run on the highway and we were neck and neck. Like neck and neck. Every shift we was right beside each other. Um, but he said he's, he's made a few changes since then. So he could possibly be a little bit faster now. So we're gonna test that all out today. Cause I, I get the chance cause the, during the, I'm talking a lot, but during the meetup of the Dr. Gap, um, I finally got a chance to put the Arata exhaust system on, but I didn't really get a chance to test test the Arata system. But today we're gonna do a little bit more testing with it to see uh, how it really feels. As you see, it's starting to blue finally down here. I gotta apply some more WD-40. But yeah, man, um, should be a good time. Like I said, we're gonna run, we're probably gonna run the, the Zig 10 and then my R1 first for him to get some some uh some data with it. And then the main event would be these two. Both stock wheelbase. And uh yeah, we get to see the before and after. So if you guys want to see this bike, me running this bike during before, I'll link that video up on the screen so you can go back and watch it after this video or pause this video, go watch it out and then come back. Either one, it's up to you. But let's get into the video. I'm not gonna probably do a B-roll to this one. Um, if you wanna see more of these bikes, check out my Instagram. I'm pretty sure I would do some reels on these bikes. So make sure you head over to the Instagram. But uh, yeah, let's get this racing started. Boy, it is cold. That's not cold, but it's cool. It's definitely cool. It's like, it might be like 50, low, it's either low 50 or uh, 
high 40s right now, but I think it's more of a low 50. Hey guys! Woo! This looks just a smooth. Feel, 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 feel. Hey, you got an auto blip. Let's see what Raven can do with this ZX-10 right now. It is smooth.
That was a bad run for me, man. I was all over the place. But it was a good run for him. So now we're gonna call it with that ZX10 because right now that ZX10 is doing nothing but spinning. It's a little too cold out here for that bike specifically. You know, with it being stretched. So we're gonna uh go back and grab the BMW. Let's go! That was good! That was good! <laughs> that was good! Am I recording? I don't know, damn! Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope my rear is recording. That was good! That was good! Heck yeah, that was good! <laughs> that was freaking good! <laughs> Yeah, it's been so long since I raced. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love that. Like I was supposed to have been got out and race, but I was trying to get this quick shift there worked and stuff. So I can come out come back out and test some more stuff. Cause like this quick shift is not the only thing I got coming for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. For especially with my Yamaha R1 guys. It's been so long, like, I knew I was just gonna be rusty when I came out here. But it does feel good. Even though it's cold out here, it look cool. It does feel good to, you know, get back out and twist that throttle, man. Talking. That's what I'm saying, man. Sometimes Raven have her days, bro. But she have her days during the worst time. Her days be like during meets and shit. Like, god dang, come on now, I need you the most on these days. 